Hello there guys and girls, and welcome to another episode of Sinbad the Merchant. It's been a while since we've done this, I know, I'm sorry, uh, life happens, I've been moving around country to country, I've visited four or five different countries in the last two months, so things are kind of crazy in life, and you know that takes precedence sometimes, but anyway... Here is the weekly budget report for Sinbad the Merchant episode number 5. Our next payday is going to be March 25th, 1257. We are making lots of money from our businesses throughout Colradia. And uh, let's see if we can make this little green number here go up um, uh, go up a little bit. So I figured it's probably going to be a good idea to set some objectives for kind of long term. Last episode we talked about uh, setting up some more businesses. Uh, I think these five companions are probably going to be enough. I wanted to add a little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm a little bit sick, so I'm going to be drinking lots of water throughout this. Uh... <sighs> wow. <sighs> throughout this episode. So, yeah. We have these five. I like them so far. We're probably going to pimp them out as time goes on. Let's set out on the route. As you can see, I don't know if you remember, but the Kurgits have kind of been going ballistic here. Taking territories all over the place. And, um, yeah, it's been pretty bad. And let me check out my ledger real quick. So we've got salt at Yalen and spice at Sargoth. And I want to buy um, an ill works at a Kurgit town on the way there. So, yeah, Sinbad the Merchant. Um, as I was saying earlier, we need to set some long-term goals. Um, need to figure out kind of where we're going to go with this Let's Play. Because for the past five episodes, you guys have kind of seen me really set up the trade empire. Um, not empire, well, that's a bit of an overstatement. But there we go, we gained the money now. Um, and we're still looking pretty good. But yeah, we need to figure out what we want to do, and I figured maybe uh, when we hit 50k or 40k, we can start recruiting an army and then making uh, making on our own little kingdom. I think that might be a really cool objective to work towards. So let's go ahead and meet the guildmaster at Tulga. Uh, I need to buy land. Yes, of course you would trust me. A couple of things to keep in mind. Let's check out the... Um, Brewery. So 123 dinars a week. And they want grain. They need a grain. So that would mean that we would need to get grain, grapes, dyes, and silks. Those are going to be our four kind of commodities that are going to drive everything. It's going to cost 2,500 dinars. Yes, here's the money. Let's visit the brewery for the first time. Uh, hello, Ralph. Ralph, how you doing? You know, Ralph Ed Voice from uh, Ed, Ed and Andy, he talks like this. Say Ed Voice. Alright, if you don't know who Ralph is from Ed, Ed and Andy, it's okay. You didn't have a childhood. I'm just kidding, Master Brewer. Good day, my lord. We hope to begin production in about seven days. Seven days. Okay, so that gives us about a week to run around. Uh, spices are really nice here, uh, as are the salts. Uh, let's do a quick uh, local assessment of the prices. All right, so spice and selling spice at Suno is going to give us so much money, so we're actually going to go ahead and pick up, um, I think four might be too much. So let's just buy that much. Let's go ahead and pause and see where we are headed. So Suno is going to be big. Uh, we also need to go to Yalen, which is down here for the salt. I'm probably going to head up into um, into some Kyrgyz territory and some Vagar territory here towards Kudan, just to look for that um, silk. Bannerlord news came out. If you didn't check it out, um, please go ahead and do that. I'll probably have a link for that, or you'll probably see a link in the sidebar. I'll probably have a link in the description also for the latest Bannerlord episode. We've got grain and raw silk. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now we need to make sure that we make the deliveries within one week um, so that we can actually keep making nice profits here. I'm going to go ahead and take this long detour. I think we can 
afford to do that. I'm gonna check if Kura has any kind of good uh, pricing on anything we need. Pretty expensive for the grain there. Tools that are really nice price. The iron is also selling pretty well here. Now, as you can see, the iron at Workchig is actually going for really nice right now. And Workchig is pretty close. It's up there. So let's continue this village of Slisk. They have grain, cheap. So as you can see, it's this uh, the ale, um, the ale, um, sorry, the brewery was actually a pretty good addition to our route already. But now it's all about making it there in time. When we get close to work check, it's going to be a little bit risky. Yeah, there you go. Do you see all those sea raiders? We're going to have to be very careful. We should be faster than everyone, though. The life of a merchant is a tough one. <laughs> Sausage! We can't unfortunately obtain sausage because we have already over already overloaded. If you look at my party, it's kinda already a sausage fest. We only have Nisa. We're gonna sell the iron here. Uh what do they have? Wow, really cheap salts. Really nice grapes actually. Can not super super great, but acceptable. I'm gonna buy a couple. We've seen grapes hit 100. I'm not gonna buy any. Let's just get pure profit from this town. We've already, we've already got salt here at decent prices. Let's get a few more bags. Uh, these are headed to um, Yalen. I just like to do a little bit of arrangement here so I can kind of see things better. So we got uh, that iron actually helped us a bit. And now we need to go to Sargoth. December 23rd is when we get paid, so we have five days left to make the trip. Long-term objective is to establish our first kingdom. That's going to require lots of money. Uh, because we're going to need to recruit a bunch of people. Marnid, we're approaching Sargoth. That's where I was headed when the Kyrgyz got me. Tell me more. Wow, the horse is so loud. The horse is so loud. Sorry, sorry, Marmad. I, I don't have time to... Why are the horses so loud? Jesus. Here we are supposed to sell our spices. Wow. He doesn't even have enough. He doesn't even have enough. Hmm. We can sell some spice at Suno actually, but here we can probably get away with uh, some of these grapes for free. Now we need to head directly to Suno to make it in time. So we're gonna go directly to Suno and then directly to Yalen and hopefully we'll still be able to make it. The quickest way to Suno is gonna be through the Jalbegi Pass. There we go. Three more days. Got a scout report. All right, we made it. Now we can visit the dye works and we can give this guy what we need. Let's check the inventories. He already has some. We're supposed to make 89 dinars, but because we just made this delivery, you're gonna see that we're actually gonna make lots of money. And I think we can also sell this at an extremely good price at Suno. And even the salt actually sells really well here, so we might be able to skip or offload some of it here. So let's head to Yelen. On our way. Scout report, these deserters are chasing me. We are much faster than they are. Oh, that was close. Now they've got, see even the grapes here are pretty expensive. So now we can probably offload most of this salt. Uh, still missing some cash. Just keep that, keep that. Yeah, just pay me what actually, no, no, no. Give me that back. We can go to the horse merchant. He needs salt for whatever reason. Yeah, I guess he, he needs salt, right? So now we've got plenty of grapes. We gotta, we gotta beat it to Shariz and to Ahmarad. Uh, within a couple of days. That shouldn't be too tough. 
So this is probably going to start getting a little bit old in a bit, but um, I'm probably not going to let you guys see all of it. Uh, lots of it will be edited. There is a tournament here, but I don't have the time to uh, to do that. So we're actually going to visit the wine press. Unfortunately, we failed to visit our lady, but we were kind of stalling with her anyway because her dad and her bro we're kind of being uh, rude. You guys know that song, Rude? Where the guy sings about how he's going to marry his daughter anyway. <laughs> it's a funny song. Uh, inventories. So I'm going to leave all of them here. And the reason I'm doing this and not going anywhere uh, near Ahmarad is because I don't think I'm going to have time to make it back to uh, Tulga. Oh no, they haven't, they're not working yet. Damn, son. I completely forgot they weren't working yet. So that, that was kind of a bummer. Excuse me, pretty boy. Why are we leaving? There's a tournament here to participate in, and if we leave now, can't show these people that we're, what we're capable of. Fall back in line, Nisa. But you know what? I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna, I was thinking of doing this tournament. But now I'm not going to, just because of what you said, you mean. Alright. Mini poo. So we continue our way across the desert. Really nice. Grain. Cheap grain is good. Uh, all this will go to the wine. Uh, not the wine, the ale press. Or the ale, the brewery. That's what it's called. Make some beer. That is a big desert bandit group. We are faster than them, though. The Serenids are doing something pretty, um, pretty intense. Here we go, week we made uh, more money, 25,000, yes, that's pretty good. And Tulga has started production now. As you can see, we made more in Shariz than Ahmarad, 1,000 more than anticipated at Suno. And um, <clears throat> let's visit the lady. Actually, if we win and visit, if we win the tournament and visit her, we can gifted to her again but we've already gifted it to her once before so it's not super great hello Sophia ah Sinbad the merchant you must have received my message how happy I am that you could come it is so delightful to have a chance to spend some time together how much good it does my heart to s wow I, I, I would hope that whatever lady Mr. Sinbad manages to get with at the end of the day doesn't sound like that <laughs> Uh, do you like poetry, my lady? I can't think of any that I would care to recite. I'm sorry. I can't really do much. I need to improve my relations with her uh, family. We need to make it to Tulga. So if we make it to Tulga directly, that'll take us about half a day to a day's travel. From there, we can make our way across uh, into these territories. Uh, maybe look for some... Um, or we might be forced to actually drop down here into... Oh, it's a farmer. So so <laughs> Sorry, sir. Carry on. Or we can tr take the Halmar Nara Tulga route. And maybe then we can get some dyes. But I don't know. I'm going to try Durkaba. I'm going to try Durkaba for dyes. Uh, and we, sh we should have enough time. So let's, let's head out. Just don't like to be in the desert, really. And here we go into Ahmara. Durin is probably going to get taken soon here. The Kyrgyz are giving it to the um, to the Serenids. So dyes. There we go. Some dyes. Actually, good grapes. That's... Uh, what about the grain? That's pretty expensive. We're not going to pick that up. So maybe coming here was not actually that much of uh, a waste since we did obtain a lot of good things. Uh, go to the marketplace. What do they have here? Expensive spices, really cheap dyes, wonderful, and again, really nice grapes, super cool. Salt at pretty decent prices, and spice also at pretty decent prices. I'm gonna pick some of the spice up and some of the salt up um, and continue again. Whoa, dodged that bullet. At Ahmarad, we are going to first offload uh, our grapes 
I wish there was a sprint button. Can I get to this guy? Yes, I can. Hello, master. Uh, please do have these grapes. And that is all. It's not going to give us that much of a profit, but uh, considering that it's kind of the same area. But we can uh, check out these villages on our way to Tulga now. Master Brewer. Enjoy that. Now I want to just do a quick run. Just a quick run here into Kudan, Revidan, Dehrim, uh, to Suno. So I'm gonna see if I can get some of that wonderful silk. Uh, not silk. Was it silk? Yeah, it's silk. Oops. We're gonna get intercepted by those uh, looters. So, yeah, they don't really have... Hmm that great of a and look I can't even I'm gonna have to sell oh I can't even Ooh, this is quite troublesome actually we may we might not be able to offload our spice sugar spice and everything nice these were the ingredients chosen to create the per never mind Let's go to the dye works. I don't know if he if he's actually run out of materials yet. I'd be very surprised. Yeah, see, he has plenty of dyes. We have basically overstocked this area. So now the dye network is gonna have to stop for a bit because this place is gonna be making so much money for a while. It's probably gonna decrease a bit from the what, what we had last week because we weren't able to provide the silk. But still, oh, we're going to get ambushed here. Fight, Rolf. Fight, you fool. Ow. Fight, you fool. Fight him. Fight him, you fool. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. The looters are everywhere, my lords. Yalen would probably like to take the salt, as as anticipated. The lush vineyards of the Rodak Hills provide with much grapes. Well, a peep. Good grain also. Yes. Please do. One thing that I would like to see addressed on Bannerlord for sure is better pathfinding. Because sometimes when you click on a straight line and then you just get caught by these silly bandits, it's just not fun, now is it? And I don't know why I'm changing my accent every now and then, please do excuse me. <laughs> um, that's what happens when you're a merchant. You start to... You acquire a rather high... high culture. Accent. Velvet for so expensive. So much money. So much money for the grapes. Gentlemen, we're passing by the site of one of my greatest medical triumphs, if that interests you. Please tell me more. The lord over there in Almera Castle had the dropsy and had requested a doctor from Uxal to treat him. Like a typical university educated doctor, he went right to Galerian for a cure. Galerian commends sun metal for dropsy. Now most of Galerian's writings were useless back in the days of the Calredic Emperors when they were first written down and they're doubly worthless today, but sometimes he hits upon the right cure by chance. Sun metal does cure some kinds of dropsy in small doses. However, sun metal in large doses is poison, something that Galerian worshippers never grasped. Okay, Jeremus, I have grown bored with your falsifications of nature and science. Oh, here we go. We got paid now. See, now it says... Now it got it right. Now it's January 6th. I'm so confused. This was a shitty week for us. You see the dyes here aren't making as much because of the spice. The key thing... Uh, the spice. The silk. The key thing is the silk. Tulga didn't make much either because I guess the grain prices are low, but that's to be expected. Shari's and Ahmarad made decent amounts. Um... Overall, though, we didn't really make that much this um, this uh, during this route. Business then pleasure. 
business and pleasure. We will visit Lady, um, I forget my lady's name, Sophia. Wow. I'm such a bad lover. Inventories. Please do have some grapes. And again, I'm gonna offload all the grapes at Shiraz because it's a bigger town. And now let's visit Lady Safia. Every time we get, um, every time we come to visit Lady Safia, we uh, are um, escorted by the wonderful nurse. A 41, yes, goodbye. Uh, we just need to have this moment of chemistry between us. Okay, bye. What I'm gonna do now is actually I'm gonna not even attempt, bother to visit any of the uh, uh, desert towns. I'm just gonna stick to these Kurgan towns and pray to... I don't know who Calradians pray to actually. That would be nice to know. Is there like Calradic gods? Never heard of them. If there are any. The lore is rather strikingly empty of religious references. Mmm. Water is delicious. I doubt that we would be able to find any of the goods we really need in these big towns at any competitive prices, as is the usually the case. Uh, to Zagush. $10 grain. Gun take it. Whoa. Why are they so close to the city? Nonsense. Nonsense, I say. So we made 150 from the brewery last time, even though we made an excellent delivery. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give this guy some of it and then check the local prices to see why that was the case. So he actually still has lots of grain. Wow. He is overloaded on grain. Maybe he goes through grain very slowly. Um... Grain prices here are a little bit more expensive, so I guess we're just going to have to kind of sit on it. Um, and really just trade with the salt and the spice because that seems to be kind of uh, the most, uh, at least the most direct way we can obtain uh, profits from, you know, buying and selling goods that are outside of our businesses at least. Maybe I should open up uh, some more, um, some more. You know what? I'm actually going to do that. Let's check the uh, prices here for... So grain is even more expensive here than it is in in Tulga. So I'm actually gonna go meet the guildmaster here and also set up another brewery. So they know me, that's good. We're gonna open up another brewery. We're gonna lose some more money, that's fine. Um, visit this. And the reason I'm doing this is because as you saw, we have lots of overstock in the other town in Tulga. So we can just split them up and we can have these uh, multiple breweries in the Kurgit towns kind of make us money. And we'll, we'll deal with that next week. So now we have Ichimor, Tulga. Uh, on the next run, if we make uh, good uh, progress selling stuff, maybe find some of the much needed uh, silk, we might very well just... Um, set up another one then we'll have three breweries in three different towns making about 400 to 600 for us every week that would be pretty good it'll obviously take us a while to make our money back oh my god look at how many bandits are here he's gonna try to chase us forever oh boy oh, we're kind of lucky actually that we got away from all that Holy crap. What is happening right now? I guess word... <laughs> word travels fast when you're uh, in uh, in uh, in bandit territory, eh? Only sell dried meat up in this high Hrothgar town. Haha! <laughs> Cross game reference! What you gonna do? That silk makes the trade route... Really? That's what it... Really, that's it. Like, it's the silk. The silk route. Literally. <laughs> it's literal silk route, guys. This is pretty cheap furs. I'm gonna pick it up. If we get the... If we get the silk, we're good. Like, that's it. See? We just made a hefty profit here. Just from a smart pickup see that the Nords have taken a lot of the Vager territory. In fact, 
I think the Vega are dead. Indeed. The Vega only have one more castle remaining at Buluga. That is pretty sad. Uh, I don't really need any more grain. Uh, but these changes in demographics would soon mean they're, they're actually coming about in a really nice place in the Let's Play. Uh, just because we now would probably be able to know which faction we want to align with. Now it's looking like either Nords or Kurgits, and given the nature of what we do, I would say Kurgits would probably be a better choice. Now in the Mountain Blade Wikipedia page, it says that... Wow, there we go, that's what we needed. Silk is what we needed. It says that the silk can be found in Yalen, but... I don't know, it, that's never happened to me in this play through at least most of the silk we've run into whoa double silk for double money most of the silk is coming here whoa close stuff but then again uh, it's pretty expensive silk still it's quite close to Suno so that's probably where Suno would buy it or at least that's I think that's how much the value would be Oh, we're gonna get ambushed again. Yeah. Ow. Fight, Rolf. Fight. Rolf, fight. Don't die, Rolf. Don't die, Rolf. Rolf died. Come on, you bitches. That's for Rolf! That's what you get. Poor Rolf got hurt. Uh, actually, what I'm gonna do before before I do this is I'm gonna check out the marketplace. They obviously don't have any silk here. The silk is selling for 750. We picked up each one for about 600, so we're not actually making that much. 900 it's still decent 285 for this salt is actually really good and I think that's all we did establish two new businesses while still having more money than we did before so that's really good there's another what's up with all these uh, bandit attacks here fight you fool She fights well. Need to work on my archery. Come on. I don't know why we're getting uh, attacked rather wild. See, my archery st stats are pretty bad. I need to improve his archery for sure. Sinbad is not a warrior. It's pretty bad. I don't know why we're, we keep getting attacked. It's not like we piss off anybody. The merchants in this town must seriously be... <laughs> seriously, like, have grudges on people that makes profit. Now, I'd be interested to hear what you guys think about uh, maybe what's next. Uh, as I stated at the beginning of the episode... Oh, here we go. So this is probably going to be the end of this episode. But as I stated at the beginning of the episode... Um, what I wanted to do next was kind of um, work towards the 50,000 uh, dinar mark. Then we can buy a really strong army. And I'm thinking about those Vager, that Vager castle now. Um, if it doesn't get taken by then, that will probably be a really good target to attack. Just because they don't have anything left. They don't have any cities left. They don't have any lords. Um... They probably have a couple of lords left, but most of their lords have probably left the faction. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? Look at the money we made at Suno here. Absolutely wonderful. What do you think? Should we do that or should we continue being merchants? Maybe uh, aim to have a business in every single town? Uh, I think that would be great. Um, let me know what you guys think. 29,000, I'll put the net profits 
uh, on your screen right now to show you guys how much money we made. I hope you enjoyed episode number five of Sinbad the Merchant. Please do like the video and share it with your friends. Growth is great and um, your interaction is definitely something that uh, motivates and stimulates the release of the next episode. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all next time. Take care.